On this week's show, Hannah Frankson is teaching tread classes. There's a target power zone indicator feature on the bike. And Black Friday sales are here. And I will give my first impressions of the Peloton Row after having my delivery and uh, having used it for the last few days and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 108 of Pedal Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm Amanda Siegel, and I'm joined by my co-host, John Pruitt. Hey, John. Hey, Amanda. Long time. How you doing? Good, good. It's getting cold here in Michigan. 33 degrees. Uh, It is. Hey, well, then I won't tell you that it's... um, I just had a wonderful week in the Bahamas for a couple of days. <laughs> Must be nice. <laughs> Which it was um, a little warm, yeah. But then, I, you know what, I got back down to Miami and it wasn't so great. The weather wasn't so great. So headed, um, headed back, to, um, back to the East Coast um, this, this week. And um, I'm in for apparently some pretty, pretty um, uh, cold temperatures there. So I'll be right there with you. Um, and yeah. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> it's definitely time to bust out the parka. The winter parka um, was for worn sure. this week for the first time. Yeah, but yep. you know what? This is one of my favorite times of the year. I mean, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. And um, I, it's just such a, it's such a great time. I have to say, as much as I am a sun worshiper and I love being in the warm weather, there's something about this time of year. So, um, And I know that the, the, the Brits have, have followed suit and they've really gotten on the Thanksgiving bandwagon with the Black Friday sales with no yeah. Thanksgiving holiday in the UK. I always find that to be quite amusing. But um, and definitely in the Peloton community, they're all very familiar with um, with Thanksgiving, and it's just such a great time of year. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to um, kind of wrapping up 2022. So with that being said, folks, we probably will not be doing a show next week. So um, sit back, relax, and enjoy this one because you will not hear from us for the next two weeks after this. Uh, But folks, before we get started with the news, we always do like to remind you how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platforms. Every episode is released on our YouTube channel. We love that you get to watch us and Chris Giles does an amazing job in putting the graphics together um, to assist in your viewing pleasure. So just go ahead and subscribe by by um, clicking the bottom right-hand side of the video, hit the notify button so that you never miss an episode. Yep, and if you're on the move, just want to listen to us, we're on all traditional podcast platforms. Search for Palo Buddy TV, subscribe if you have not already, and be sure to click notifications so you never miss an episode. And please leave us a review if you're enjoying the show. We love receiving those five-star reviews. We also love to read some of them from time to time. And we also really appreciate when we receive feedback or constructive criticism um, criticism on how we can improve the show and make it better for you, because that's that's who we're doing it for, the, the Peloton community. Exactly. And of course, folks, we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, I'm sure most of you by this point are all on all of those platforms. But if you're not, just go ahead and search um, for Pedal Buddy, like, follow us um, so that you are up to date with all of the latest news. And now, John, let's get on with the show. All right. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pillow news. All right, all right. Well, we called it and we were right. We are thrilled that the newest coach on the Peloton tread is Miss No Behavior, Hannah Frankson herself. As we had chatted about this last week, her announcement had been teased over social media as well as Hannah herself in her class playlist from her 20-minute pop ride on November the 10th, where every song on the playlist was related to running in some way. Very, very clever indeed. So cheeky. Um, Hannah's... 
very cheeky and <laughs> only Hannah Frankson can pull that one off. And of course, only we caught on to that or um, certainly there were folks out there that did. But it was fun to have seen that. Um, but yeah, she premiered on this past Wednesday um, with a 20 minute run and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, it was, um, uh, of course, live with tread coaches in the studio and live running with her. So Jocelyn Thompson Rule and John Husking were both live in the class on the tread, as well as her dad. Her dad got yeah, to be on the tread and ran. Wasn't that so cool? And he was so, so proud um, with some staff and employees from PSL, all there to support Hannah as she um, debuted. Um Jermaine Johnson was also in the studio. He was not on the tread, though. Um, Hannah had shouted him out and said that he was done running for the day. He was he was but lurking he in was, the back. <laughs> right. He was in the back of the studio, um, but he was also there to report. And Susie Chan was actually away on vacation. So she's been in Dubai, um, so wasn't actually in. And I'm sure was incredibly disappointed that she wasn't there to support, um, to support Hannah. But yeah. Sam Yeo was. Sam Yeo, I saw, was in there, and he popped up on her Instagram and on social media. So she definitely had the most amazing um, support for that first premiere um, run. Her playlist- well, apparently Jeffrey, yeah. apparently Jeffrey and Benny were, were waitlisted for the, the run. They didn't get off the waitlist though. Oh, interesting. Oh, Benny's <laughs> I'm kidding, back I'm from kidding. vacation? Oh, no, I was, oh, I'm oh. just fucking with you. <laughs> but I wanted to say, where, where, where was the German instructor representation? Yeah, I was hoping- I was yeah, hoping Benny or, Je- Jeffrey or Jeffrey McEachern. Well, Benny's out of town. So Benny's still oh, in Australia. Okay. I don't think he gets back until the end of this coming week. He's He's oh. gone for a while. Um, I didn't ask Jeffrey actually where he was. I should have asked him. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess I guess it, maybe they had other stuff going on. Um, yeah. But that um, that playlist, John, oh, my God, it was absolutely filled with bangers. From Gorgon City's Ready for Your Love to... Kano's Garage Skank Freestyle, which no doubt is a Hannah Frana Hankson, a Hannah Frankson trademark. Yeah. Um, to the Kingdom Choir's Stand By Me, she ended the run with none other than Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive. Uh, I, I got to say, the playlist was amazing. It was true to Hannah form. She was a superstar from beginning to end. And members, if you like what you saw on Wednesday, you were able to jump right back on and do a 20-minute hit run that she had dropped on demand. So folks could really get 40 minutes of Hannah on Wednesday if they wanted to. Um, She will be back live on the schedule um, on the tread next Wednesday, the 23rd, so this coming Wednesday, with a 30-minute intervals run. And then she will be splitting her time, obviously, between her cycle schedule and her run schedule. She did say on social, though, that her cycle schedule will not change. She will just be adding run into or run and walk into her um, into her schedule. So huge shout out to Hannah. We are so thrilled for her. She is going to be one that I think is going to be incredibly popular on the tread. I know that I'm thrilled and the Push Push crew have supported her through thick and thin and they were out in full force. I think that was one of the um, most amazing leaderboards that Wednesday with so many on live. It was amazing. Yeah, I did it. I was on it live and I've never seen that many people on a live tread run before. There was over 800 people and that's not including anyone that might have been on the app because right. we, you can't see the app the app people when you're on uh, the Peloton tread. Correct. But, yeah, I um, think they were close to 2,000. I, I had heard that they were close to 2,000, so yeah. I, I I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't so be surprised was, if people... That was great to see, because normally, you know, an average on a run, you maybe get like 150, 160 people, uh, but over 800 people really turned out in droves. And also I noticed that she also has a five-minute pre-run warm-up uh, yes. on the and a cool down. platform and a 10 minute post run stretch. Got uh, it. Cool down. I don't think she has a cool down yet. Wasn't it a cool down? You may be right. She has a cool a down. Stretch, she has a recent cool down ride. That's five minutes. 
I think you're right, week. though. It was the stretch. I saw yeah, the stretch, 10 minute post there, run stretch which looked cool. Awesome. Yeah, so that's on there now. I haven't done, and uh, I, I just noticed that after the run, so I didn't, I, I didn't use it. I would have done the stretch, but um, no, I'm excited to to do more classes with her on the tread. Yeah, and the camaraderie from the team were just amazing. Uh, it was just so fantastic seeing everybody behind her and supporting her and excited for her. And yeah, I mean, she is going to be definitely one not to miss because I think what she brings to the bike is phenomenal. So what she's going to bring to the tread is going to be even more exciting. Yeah, and it was so, fun uh, seeing your boy, see. your 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 boy John Hosking. He was over there right against the wall right. and uh, and rock, wearing long pants too. Wearing, wearing some yeah, joggers. <laughs> I did see that. I did see that. I wonder if he just kind of, you know, at the last minute decided. Yeah, he just jump he on. just waltzed in off the street and just hopped right on that that first tread spot. It's too funny. <laughs> it's too funny. Yeah. Well, that's really exciting. So awesome. Yes. Well, Amanda, sometimes it's the little things that make Peloton members really happy. And this past Tuesday, Peloton began rolling out one of the most frequently requested features by Power Zone riders. Uh, for the Bike and Bike Plus, which is a very small but very helpful visual indicator of what power zone that you're currently supposed to be in based on the zone that the instructor has called out during the ride, also called target power zone. Um, So this is obviously for on demand. It would be, you know, it's not for live. It would be nice if it was for live uh, rides, but the new power zone, the target power zone indicator is simple yet effective. It's just like a little white outline box around the corresponding zone you're supposed to be in, like I said, that the instructor, you know, calls out during the class. Peloton just describes it as when you're taking a power zone class, a small box will appear around the zone that the instructor has queued um, on the power zone meter of your touchscreen. This will give you a visual cue to help you monitor your progress and push towards your target zone. Um, It will only appear if you've done your FTP test on the Peloton bike, which stands for functional threshold power. So that's that's basically a 10 minute class to determine. It gives you it gives you numbers and then it determines your corresponding um, zone outputs. So it's um, actually 20 minutes. It's actually 20 minutes, um, John. It's a 20 minutes. Oh, the minute FTP test. test? I thought it was mm-hmm. 10 minutes. 20 minutes. No, uh, maybe maybe 20, I'm thinking of the, of the warm up. Minutes. <laughs> maybe I'm thinking of the warm up is maybe yes, there is 10 a ten minutes. minute okay. there is a ten minute warm up, but the actual test is twenty tough minutes. <laughs> okay, I stand corrected. So um, you won't see the target zone indicator during parts of the cool down and warm up. Um, specific, it's specifically uh, in spin ups and flat roads, as instructors are not always queuing to a specific zone during those sections of a workout. So um, they said it would only appear now. They're only retroactively adding it um, to classes that have been recorded since early January 2022. So basically just this past year. Um, So any older Power Zone classes for that, you won't have that feature uh, added. Um, But they do aim to have it added in all new classes that are being recorded going forward. And... Yeah, the full disclaimer, uh, target zone, power zones will be available in power zone classes prior to mid-January 2022. Um, They will be available in all power zone classes that list movements in the class plan, class details. We plan to support target power zone in all new PZ classes. So um, I know people were unanimously unanimously very happy and excited um, when we posted about it on the Pelo Buddy social platforms. Yeah. Yeah, for the for the power zone folks, this was a huge ad. So as you said, it's sometimes just a small thing. Yeah, such a small minor detail, but so helpful. Right. Which is great. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Who's ready for some Black Friday shopping? It came early. Uh, we had previously mentioned that Peloton would run their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales from Monday, November the 14th to the 28th, and we were right. They officially launched their Black Friday 2022 sales on Monday the 14th, where members can get a discount on accessories with the purchase of the bike, the bike plus the tread or the guide. So folks have an option of the free accessories package, or you can build your own bundle. The major difference between the different countries is the amount of discount that folks are eligible for. 
Um, and of course, as expected, the new Peloton Row will not be part of that Black Friday sale. Um, so, you know, again, it's still in that pre-order phase with folks just getting it delivered. So unfortunately, for those of you that were holding out, hoping that potentially the row would go on sale, no such luck as of now. Um, on a side note, though, if you have purchased um, equipment since November the 1st, Peloton are offering a price match guarantee. Um, however, they're not price matching third-party retailers. So if anybody's purchased anything from Dix or Amazon in the U.S., it, um, you know, it does seem... Um, you won't, you won't get, you know, you won't get price matched on that. Um, uh. To add though, to add though, though, it does seem that Amazon will have a Black Friday sale starting um, the day after Thanksgiving on November the 24th. So if you did want to purchase through Amazon, you can hold out until the 24th. Um, and of course, you'd have until the 28th to utilize the Black Friday Peloton sale. So there's tons of different options um, that folks have in order to try and get, you know, equipment um, if they haven't yet for some kind of discount. So that's, yes. that's cool. And, and of course, remember that for those folks that have referral codes, um, now any members that have... Um, you know, have an account, are able to utilize those referral codes. So definitely, if you haven't used up all your 2022 referral codes, make sure you give them to friends so that you're getting that $100 um, benefit, um, as, as would they. Definitely. Don't let, so, those, don't let those referral code slots go to waste. Definitely not. Definitely not. Well, a heads up as we're in the holiday season now, in case you haven't seen, uh, Peloton has stated both studios, New York and London, will be closed um, to the public during two weekends in December over the course of Christmas and New Year's. So from December 25th to the 23rd to the 25th and December 30th to January 1st. Uh, there won't be any live classes and obviously you won't be able to visit the studio. It won't be open to the public. Um, Peloton say they're taking some time to enjoy the holidays. Um, while there won't be any in-studio class bookings, um, there'll be plenty of scheduled encore and on-demand classes that will be dropping. And um, in addition to the encore schedule, Peloton has dropped major artist series classes on Christmas Day in both 2021 with Taylor Swift and 2020 with the Beatles um, classes. I know that Dennis and Leanne had uh, Beatles rides. Um, they haven't Amazing. hinted. Yeah, they haven't hinted at what they have in store for 2022, but it's still early. Um, right. They also held the top 50 countdown, top 50 Countdown classes for the past two years, uh, in between oh, Christmas true. I and about New that. Year's. Yeah, yeah. During which they count down the top fifty most loved tracks by members in the past year, and some of those can be fun too because the instructors will mention which instructor played that song the most, and sometimes there's some funny commentary that that ensues from that as right. well. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll have plenty of stuff to keep us busy during those uh, those weekends. So do not fret. It was amazing to see how many people were moaning about the fact that they weren't going to be working on Christmas Day. I mean, are you working on really? Christmas Day? People complaining oh. that they won't be there on Christmas Day? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Which was kind of, you know, a little like, really? They, are they going to get time off? It's like, come on, guys. I mean, it's a holiday, for goodness sake. <laughs> I mean, if, there's if, so much out there that you folks can, you know, can, can utilize on the platform. It just doesn't make any sense. But people yeah, are, if somebody you know, expects some them, if somebody expects the instructors and the staff to be there to, um, to do live classes, when do they expect the instructors to, what holidays do they expect the instructors and, and employees to have off, if not, I mean, Christmas is like it the biggest, bizarre. biggest holiday in the state. So, yeah, that sounds like an official Peloton member page uh, rant complaint. Crazy. Well, we have a All slot. Right, John, I know, Chris. Yeah. Yes, rower the Peloton row first impression. So, kicking off uh, Monday morning, I was the first delivery in Michigan uh, by the spin-off company of XPO, which is uh, RxO. Um, they did not call me. They didn't give me a heads up in advance. They just showed up. All of a sudden, I saw a big U-Haul truck outside 
the front of the house at about 8.30 in the morning on Monday. And um, so that was a disappointment sitting just like a U-Haul truck with four or five guys, um, you know, unloading. And they had some trouble with the monitor. I don't know if they didn't know how to screw it on, but they were fumbling. They had to go back and get a different screen. So they were there about 45 minutes. Um, everything was assembled fine. Like I, I saw someone post that <laughs> their delivery team assembled their seat backwards. And I didn't have that issue, yeah. fortunately. Um, but there was no, it, it was basically like their first time assembling it. So th- these people, um, the delivery team was not, you know, really, they weren't okay. onboarded. <laughs> yeah, they weren't onboarded about the workings of the rower. I mean, they were just doing it for the very first time right there on the spot. So there was no kind of tutorial, you know, like when you get the bike delivered. Um, yeah. You know, they kind of walk you through it. There's more of a probably, you know, they help get your seat set up or they should at least, you know, those adjustments. But there was nothing like that. They were just like, here you go. And I don't know if I was expecting that, but um, but that's pretty much it. They just, they set it down, you know, on the mat and um, gave me the uh, the wall mount, the, the hook um, that if you want to store it upright vertically, um, you have to do yourself. They don't. They don't do that for you because you know. Obviously, they have to drill into the studs of your wall, and that's a whole other th- liability um, that they're not going to you know get into. Um, but it's super smooth. Um, it's it's got the same tablet uh, as the tread and the bike plus. So you know, really good sound on that front facing speaker. Um, I'm using the Wi Fi on it, and the Wi Fi is great because it's got a faster Ethernet card in there. Um, it's hard. My initial impression after I did a 10 minute form and form and something, a 10 minute form and some form and drills row with Matt Wilpers was, um, I initially was thinking to myself, like, did I make a mistake? Like I didn't realize how hard it rowing actually is. Um, but I did a 30 minute boot camp and another 10 minute and cooled down row with Katie Wong. And I really love um, her instruction and her taste in music. So I'm um, a big fan of Katie so far. But um, awesome. I mean, it's obviously hard to navigate if you want to touch the screen and, you know, hide something. You know, you can't really row with one hand. Right. So it's like right. you kind of you have to basically stop. To touch the screen, so yeah, I don't think high fiving is going to be you know doable as much as you know you would on the bike or the tread. But um, you know another and another thing is there's no live classes. Um, there's plenty on the plus side and Flipcoin side of that. There's plenty of content out there, um, so it's not like they haven't been recording stuff all this time for the past months. Um, so there's tons of stuff to choose from. There's lots of variety already, but yeah, it's kind of a bummer. We don't have any live classes cause I would love to be in a live rowing, um, class with a live leaderboard or at least an encore, um, yeah. rowing class. So hopefully that's going to be happening soon now that folks have, um, the hardware and also it's weird. You, you can't access the classes at all on the app. I was so, just, oh my God, you like read my mind. I was just going to say to you, did it start yeah. popping up on your app? So no, no you can't no. get it on so, the app? I mean, I tried little different workarounds, you know, because it'd be fun if there was a, if there was a moment I wanted to post, you know, to my reels yeah, or my stories, you know, I got to go old school and like hold my phone up against the screen and take sort of a oh, janky, you know, picture of a picture, video of a video. Yeah. Um, no, what I tried to do, someone suggested, and I thought it was going to work. Someone suggested that I add a rowing class to my stack, which I can do. And you can pull it, you can pull up the class. You'll see it in your stack on the app. But as soon as I went to hit, as soon as I went to hit play, it acts like it's about to start playing. It closes out and it just goes back to the previous screen on the app. And then it disappears from your stack, but it does show but it does show on your workout history on the app that you've done it. That Got you it. Um, that you did it. So just be mindful of that because I deleted it. Um, so it'll okay. show up in your workout history. So it could it could mess with your stats a little bit if you're not careful. Um, so it. hopefully they'll be making you know because it'd be nice at least to have access to it since I have the hardware, which they said it would only the, the content would only be accessed um, currently through the row, and then sometime later they might make it available on the app. 
Um, Got it. I mean, it's it's great so far. Um, I'm just, I, wow. I just, I know I have to stick with it. It's not like just like hopping on the bike or getting on the tread and, you know, getting right. Like I'm working muscles. I'm feeling soreness that I haven't felt before. I was going to ask you, are you feeling sore? Yeah, lower back. I, I do love the tech. I love the form feedback where it shows you um, your movement as you um, as you do your stroke, the pull and the catch when you bring the, the cord back closer to the row and it lights up red when your form is off. Um, I did hide it a couple times because I, I felt like I was getting too obsessed with watching okay. that instead of watching the instructor on the screen. So I hit it a couple times. I, 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 um, I minimized it so hit I it. didn't see it. Yeah as much, but, um, I mean, it's really nice. It's really nice. I think you're going to like it. Monday. So mine arrives tomorrow (laughs) and I am thrilled to, um, to get it set up. Yeah. I I will report back in two weeks, but I'm excited to get to try something, you know, something different too. And 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 one other um, thing, one other thing I'll say, um, my, our 10 year old son, Jackson, he's really into it. He's been using it a few times now and he really loves Katie. Nice. He's done. He's done a bunch of rowing classes uh, so far with Katie, and he seems to be really into her. So, um, you know, go Jackson. Absolutely, and go you guys for you know for having it available to him. And I'm sure you know I'm sure supervised. But it's so great to see these young kids. You know folks posting and, and showing these young kids being active and wanting to do exercise and wanting to do something fun. So I love it. I love that there are different ways to get these kids involved um, and just being, you know, being active. So yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, um, well, as John had, had stated um, about delivery, um, and for those of you that are waiting for delivery, whether it is for this new row or other hardware, um, you will notice that Peloton is utilizing this new company called RxO. Uh, but they are, in fact, as John stated, just a spinoff of XBO Logistics, um, which had been the name of the previous delivery source that Peloton had used. So we, um, you know, it's there. I'm not sure the connections or why they changed the names, whether it was just Mm. from a marketing perspective or what it was. But that is something that we did want to just kind of throw out there to you guys, that it is pretty much the same company. Uh, It almost almost feels like... You know, have you ever heard of Time Warner Cable? They're they're really yeah, popular in the tries. It's of almost course. like when yep. Time Warner Cable they changed names to Spectrum, or when um, Clear Channel oh. Radio changed yeah. their names to I Love Radio because there was so much like hate and negativity associated with that brand name. They, that's that was the reason why they changed names. Right. It's the same with we have Comcast and, and Comcast, Comcast changed Xfinity. Yeah. You know, Xfinity. Yeah. The yep. same thing. Yep. So it's like all these who, you know, who really knows what it's about. All right. We also mentioned previously that um, we anticipated that both the UK and Germany would start offering hardware through Amazon. And we did just see this past week that Amazon UK has, in fact, become an affiliate with the Peloton products um, on their site. And we do anticipate that Germany will be right behind them in the next coming weeks. So for those of you that were waiting to get their hardware through Amazon, um, those now in the UK are able to, in fact, do so. So that is pretty exciting. Nice. And as we have also mentioned on previous episodes, we now have a a kind of a full write-up on PeloBuddy.com on this. Um, But the Peloton app will be relaunching in 2023 with apparently with new price tiers, freemium, and locked content. Um, they're going to apparently completely overhaul their app strategy sometime at the beginning of 2023. So there'll be new price models um, where the classes that you have access to might depend on uh, what pricing tier that you're paying. Um, But in about almost every recent uh, public appearance recently, Peloton CEO Barry McCarthy has talked about his plans to relaunch the digital app next year. Um, and in this month's Q1 2023 earnings call, he discussed upcoming plans for it and the digital only pricing, um, how he had said that, you know, they've not focused enough on their app only segment, that they were too focused on encouraging customers to make a hardware purchase. 
Um, and moving forward, he'd really like to change that. So essentially, Peloton does not care whether you have a subscription with hardware or a su subscription just through the app, which I know a lot of people right now are, you know, angry about the row um, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. so many people have a um, what's it a, a oh concept C two concept rower. Yes, that seems to be yeah. a really popular um, rower brand, and a lot of folks I know are. Frustrated. So hopefully with this strategy, that's also worked into it, having access to row content, not just yeah. through the hardware. I thought it was really funny on, <laughs> on Thursday because there are so many people complaining that they can't access the row content without the rower. And I thought it was really funny. Someone made a snarky post and, you know, they're just... Um, they're just trolling, but they Salty. said, please, yeah. please do not make the rowing content available on the app. Please only keep it exclusively for folks that have the row. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah. You just, yeah. Some, there's I mean, always something on salty. there for, there's always something exactly. to laugh about on there. Exactly. All right. Well, um, moving on for all those runners or cyclists that have incorporated yoga into your workouts, um, a new yoga class format has recently appeared in the on demand library titled Focus Flow for Runners and Focus Flow for Riders. So there are four new classes with Dennis Morton and Mariana Fernandez that are either 10 or 20 minute options. Um, the class formats are designed to utilize movements that will help um, for those that have spent time on either the bike or the tread. And the focus, um, and they focus, these classes actually focus on poses that complement one's hard work after a challenging run or a ride. So definitely something that they're utilizing. And as we remember just a couple, a couple months ago, um, Mariana had released um, additional yoga content that helped folks prepare for marathon running. So they wanted you to incorporate your yoga into, you know, into your uh, marathon training. Um, that program was called Mariana's um, Approach Flow to the Finish Program. So there's tons out there, which is definitely helping those that are looking at really pushing their running, you know, further or even their cycling further to incorporate yoga as an additional uh, modality. So I love that they're doing that now for those folks. Yeah, that's great. Well, November 11th marked Veterans Day in the United States and Armistice Day in many countries around the world. And Peloton observed both holidays with a number of special classes. Um, there were three live classes uh, that were on the schedule. It was a ride with Camilla, uh, runs with Marcel and Susie Chan, and there was also an outdoor run with Matt Wilpers that dropped on demand. Um, we've got the complete schedule. You can check it out on PeloBuddy.com if you haven't had a chance to do any of those yet. All right, and moving right along, there are definitely some happy members out there. This past week, the latest Features Artist series was announced, which featured the music of pop group in sync with classes having dropped this past Friday, November the 18th. So it included in the mix the Peloton Row. So this would have been the very first Artist Series class um, utilizing the row. And hmm. Alex Kowarski was the lucky row instructor that got to launch um, the, the Artist Series on the row with an in-sync in Artist Series class. Um, <laughs> so members can also find a run in German with Marcel Maher, um, a German ride with Eric Jaeger, a run with John Hosking, a flow with Mariana, a ride with Cody, and a 20-minute upper body strength class with Robin Arzan. So there is definitely tons um, that folks can utilize um, in the different modalities with InSync. But along with the happy members, I think there was a very happy instructor, namely Mr. Cody Rigsby, who got to um, do his Thursday night LOL. And who did it feature? It featured in sync's 
JC. So Cody, as we all know, is a huge fan. And to have him together with Emma Lovewell on the LOL um, show or ride or workout on Thursday night was something that Cody was very, very excited about. So, And he's um, also been very yeah. vocal about JC Chavez being the best singer of the group, having the strongest oh, didn't voice. Oh, did really? I missed that part. Okay, he, that's funny. He All has right. talked about when he when he's played in sync in the past, he always shouts out JC. This is probably his favorite, but he's he said numerous times that he has has the best voice and he's the most All underrated right. um, of the group. Well, then I'm sure that um, you know I'm sure that that must have been incredibly exciting for him to have had him sitting up there next to him. As you guys know, we record a little early, so we um, we we can't tell you what it was really like, um, but I'm sure it was fantastic. And um, having I've actually him up seen. There, I'll admit, I've seen in sync in concert. Have you really? Okay, yeah, in, in, I have not. In 2000, see, Backstreet Madison. Boys. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm more of an in sync person. You know, it's like some some people are Backstreet Boys or in sync. I like I like both, but um, I never yeah, saw Backstreet yeah. Boys in concert. But I saw them in concert at Madison Square Garden in 2000. And the funny thing was, Pink, the singer, she opened, opened for the group, and she was relatively unknown at the time. Um, and now, oh, obviously, wild. she's you know massively. Um, she's blown up since then, but yeah. And hang on a second, John. You said 2000. Yeah. That's 22 yeah, my, years ago. Is that insane? Yeah, is that 20, insane 22 to think that years that ago. was 22 years ago? That is wild. With, uh, All with right. an ex, I, yeah, I enticed an ex-girlfriend. You know, I surprised her with tickets to NSYNC because she loved... You know, all those boys. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, all we right. um, uh, on the subject, uh, while we're still talking artist series, we had a Carly Rae Jepsen artist series um, this past week. So, you know, she was in uh, the previous uh, November 10th episode of LOL Cody. She was the featured guest artist on there. And um, then we also had a whole bunch of different Carly Rae Jepsen classes that went down on November 12th, Saturday. Um, it included six classes across four different modalities with six instructors. Um, I did the one with Cody live on Saturday morning. That was super fun. Uh, but we also had a 20-minute upper body strength with Callie Gullickson. There was a 10-minute Carly Rae Jepsen cool down, uh, courtesy of Leanne yeah. that dropped on demand. And there was also a 30-minute run with Jeffrey McEachern in German, as well as a 30-minute run with Camilla. And then we also had a 30-minute uh, yoga flow with Krista McGee. Um, nice. So, yeah, check those all out. We got, t there's tons of content to choose from right now. All right, there certainly is, because for those of you that have been loving those extra 10 classes, a whole bunch more had dropped this past week, including six rides, a run, and two hikes. So for those, just for reference, you can find those extra 10 classes under the collections tab, um, now giving us 25 of them to choose from. I have to say, I'm loving them. I'm definitely adding them on to workouts, especially if I'm doing a 20 minute something and I want to get, you know, a better workout in, definitely adding those to make up that 30 minutes. Um, but I've been loving them. So that's awesome that they're continuously dropping new ones. Yeah, it's like last last year they had a whole bunch of 10-minute ones around the holidays they called stacking stuffers. That's right. So um, they're especially good when you're in between two, you know, 20-minute classes where you have that 15-minute block of time in between. So um, yeah, they've come in handy so far. And uh, I thought it was I thought it was interesting though how they had this little warning disclaimer pop up before those classes. Have you noticed that? I absolutely have noticed that and I don't yeah, I'm not quite sure why. Um, yeah, like you, they're trying to, the, uh, the gist of it, I feel like they're trying to say like, it's not, uh, uh, I'm trying to well, think, think of what they, the wording was. What, what I think what I've noticed, John, is that they have said, make sure you've warmed up before you do this class. We don't yeah. really, you know, we don't really give you that, that extra three, four, you know, four or five minutes on a, on a 20 minute class or a 30 minute class that they do to warm you up. 
Um, so they do have that as a disclaimer. I guess they worry that people are going to jump onto a hike and have not warmed their body up and go straight into, you know, an incline of 10 or 12, which is what Justin Thompson Rule did on um, on her hike, her 10 uh-huh. minute hike. Um, okay. And she did say, please make sure that you've been warmed up before you get onto this workout, um, which was, you know, which was good. So maybe that's why they're just anxious that people are going to, you know, utilize them as just standalones where they really don't want you to. They want you to make sure that you're adding them on. Yeah, I just thought it was it was odd that they had that little caveat at the uh, the beginning there. A lot of a lot of wor- a lot of words there. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, sp- uh, speaking of. Going back to artist series again, rumored artist series, it sounds like, according to Olivia Amato, we're going to have a Taylor Swift Midnight series coming very soon. Um, So Swifties will be thrilled to learn, and I'm sure um, a lot of them are are also um, still reeling from the whole debacle on Ticketmaster for the the, the Taylor Swift pre-sale that a lot of people had a code for um, that got shut out of and that spent the whole day. It kind of sounded like people trying to book classes at Peloton in New York. <laughs> people I, I was people devoted a lot of time. To I know you did Maddie's walk and talk on Wednesday and I, did I didn't too. do it. Yeah. Was, but I'm sure oh, that was the subject. It? No, oh, I ended up doing about it. I ended up opting for Camilla's uh, EDM ride. Uh, they, they well, were Maddie was talking time. about it on Wednesday, and I felt okay. like saying to Maddie, I'm listening to you, and have you bothered to listen to any of the men Peloton members? Because then that's how they're bitching. <laughs> when, when you know, 12 o'clock rolls around on a Monday, and you're desperately trying to get into classes. So, um, yeah. you know, he was he was ragging on Ticketmaster. Um, but hey, Peloton may have their own. You don't even have to worry about going to the concert, because yeah, you can just so get if you to got, ride or run with one of your favorite, uh, you know, instructors. To her, yeah, if you got to shut out. We got shut out of tickets. Um, I don't know if it's a, as great a, a constellation, but <laughs> um, though it's not officially announced, Olivia um, mentioned that she recorded a core class for the series in her Extra 10 Intervals ride that's currently on demand right now. Um, as the song Karma from Taylor's Midnight's album was playing in the background, Olivia said, check out my Taylor Swift Midnight's core class. So much fun. I love this album. It's my favorite album that she's dropped to this day. Um, So this would be the third installment of Peloton's ongoing collaboration with Swift. Um, So after weeks of hints, the Taylor Swift um, read Taylor's version uh, artist series that launched on Christmas Day last year. Um, And in September... Um, Peloton released two additional classes featuring the music uh, of Evermore and Folklore um, as well. So it's sounding like hopefully by Christmas we should have a new Taylor Swift artist series. Maybe that's what that maybe that's what will get dropped on Christmas Day. Who yeah, knows? could very well be. Hopefully sooner. Hopefully we'll get some live stuff. It'd always be fun if they were live. Uh, but that brings us to our next. Uh, speaking of live. You've got yeah. some. You've got some news to yeah. share to us. I do for all those bike boot camp um, fanatics out there, and those that have been um, a little disappointed because you don't get to do them live as often anymore. Um, there will now be four new live boot camps that are dropping the day after Thanksgiving. So the Friday after Thanksgiving on Black Friday, um, there will be a pop bike boot camp with Cliff Dwenger a 45-minute full-body bike boot camp with Callie, a 30-minute core boot camp with Tunde, and a 30-minute upper body boot camp, a bike boot camp with Cody. So no complaining. There are going to be four brand new live drops, uh, which again, I know people are going to complain all four in one day. There's no possible way we can do all four in one day. I mean, you know that people are going to find some reason to complain, but you know what? There are new ones and you'll be able to take them over the period of time that there aren't going to be classes <laughs> when the studio is closed over Christmas and New Year. But I know well, for a lot of folks, they really have I don't know who does. Yet. I don't know who would do that many bike boot camps. I've never done two bike boot camps or two tread. I've done a tread boot camp and a bike boot camp in the same day. But it's just it's so random. You know, we haven't had any live bike boot camps except from Cliff Dwanger in German every other week. And now all of a sudden we randomly get four 
on the on same day, day yeah. after Thanksgiving. It's just, could you get any more random than that? I just hope they, yeah. you know, we, we get some more regularity back with the live boot camps um, in special. English, preferably. Although I've done a live boot camp with, um, with Cliff, which was great, but you know, it, it's kind of hard, you know, when yeah. he's, when he's given instruction, there's no live um, English subtitles. But I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'll definitely. I'm going for that Cody boot camp all the way. All right. And um, so Anna Greenberg recently. Uh, she's been on maternity leave now for a while um, after having her baby. But she recently addressed a question this past week in her Instagram stories on when she is expected to be teaching on the platform again, um, and she expects to return to the mat in January. She said her official return to work. Date is December 19th, but that you won't see her live on the mat until the following month. So um, just around the corner. And there was tons of material that's been dropped, you know, uh, from her. She pre-recorded tons before she went on maternity leave, as have uh, all the instructors who have gone, you know, who, who are out or about to be out. Yep, Jess so King just went. there's tons of material on there. Yep. Jess King just went off. And I think on Thursday, I, I think Selena just, yeah, just, yep. you know, went on Selena her, her announced leave as well. That she, yep, she announced that she was really disappointed. And I guess, yeah, we probably should talk about that, that she was really disappointed that um, she wasn't able to do her last live. Live in sort of a farewell members. before the maternity leave. But she got sick and um, uh, she figured it was not appropriate to be in the studio with a fever and not feeling great. No, didn't doesn't state that it's COVID, but um, did say, and she sounded pretty stuffed up and, you know, very nasally. And, and um, but it was lovely. She came on live on Instagram um, over, uh, you know, on Thursday. So mm -hmm. just apologizing to everybody. And I love that. I love that they, you know, do that as opposed to just not being there. And then you worry, where are they and what's happening? Yeah. So, and speaking um, of that, I know we, we didn't have a line item for this, but um, Andy Spear has been noticeably absent for the last, two, I, I feel like two weeks now. And yes. um, he just recently posted, I think on Wednesday on Instagram, that he was just taking some time for his body. So he didn't say anything other than that. He didn't say if it was an injury, um, you know, because a lot of people were wondering, you know, if, if he was sick, if he was okay. Um, and he's been quiet. He hasn't read, you know, I was messaging him, you know, everything okay. And he hasn't opened his DMs. Oh, um, interesting. And read my messages, but he did finally come on uh, social media on Wednesday, you know, to, you know, say he's he's okay. He's just, you know, taking some time for his body. So, um, yeah, in case anyone yeah. was wondering, you know, Andy's, he's not going anywhere. Good that you threw out there. Yeah, good that you yeah. threw that out there. Um, all right. Well, we mentioned that in Hannah Frankson's premiere run, we saw staff as well as instructors live in studio. But for those of you that took Ali Love's new tracks ride on Tuesday, I believe it was the 15th, or Camilla's pop run, you might have been surprised to see members or perhaps they were employees taking the classes live. So on Wednesday, the 16th, Jermaine Johnson also had folks um, in his live run. Um, but there isn't any official word yet, John, that the studio is opening up um, to members during the week. Uh, we certainly have our have our suspicions that that is going to be coming, um, but there has been no official word that the studio will start to open during the week. But it was interesting to mm. see live members during the week in live class, you know, or, or folks. I, again, I, I, I let me rephrase that. We're not sure if they're members. They could have been, you know, they could have been staff. But friends there are family, definitely yeah. classes, friends and family. There are definitely classes that have been going live with members in them. So maybe that is something we can get to look forward to. And I can almost bet my bottom dollar that come the new year, that studio is going to be opening up full time. I think it's well, a great resource financially for them. And I think it will make it a lot easier for folks to um, to get in. I can't remember if I mentioned it on the show or if it was just in our group Hello, buddy. WhatsApp chat. Uh, mm -hmm. Chat, but someone did mention when I was at the Peloton Studios New York last month. Someone had mentioned to me they were talking to a staff member and they were saying that they do plan to open to add Thursday um, to okay. add the studio to be open to the public and then eventually Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 
but there was right. no there was no timetable. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. But hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's back to seven days a week eventually, like it used to be pre pandemic. I think it will be. I think it will be. I think it's a great, as we said, it's a great financial resource for them. And I think just members are so frustrated not being able to get in that I think it'll be exactly way, yeah. You know, folks It'd be, to able, be to, able to get in. Probably a lot easier to get in during the week. And so uh, Matt Wilpers and Ash Pryor were at a meet and greet. I, I love all these recent meet and greets that we've been getting, love especially it. to promote the rower um, lately. But at the UTC showroom in San Diego, California, um, yesterday, uh, the 19th, they were there from 12 to 2 local specific time. So um, if you had a chance to attend that meet and greet, we would love to hear. I'm sure we're going to see some pictures now um, that it's Sunday, the day after. Um, how that went, but um, I'm really hoping they come to the uh, the Michigan showroom. It would be really fun to to have a local meet and greet um, to be able to go to. They're definitely getting around. They're definitely getting around. Yeah, I mean, got to promote right. got to um, promote those new instructors. And I know, I know, Matt's. You know, I'm, I'm sure they had a huge turnout for it because you know Matt. You know, he's a big draw. For people, sure, people love Wilpers, and uh, and Ash yeah. is great, and um, I think it's great. You know. Um, you know, if you can meet the instructor face to face and kind of, you know, put the name with the face is great. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. And then kind of to wrap up the news, um, another apparel drop this past week, we saw a new holiday apparel drop. Um, so there were some great pieces in there. Let us know if anyone picked some up of that new festive merch, um, because there were some nice pieces. I have to say, I loved the white sports bra that they had. There was a new sweatsuit that they had. Um, didn't really see much for the guys. Um, did you take yeah. a look, John? It wasn't I, really much for the guys. I got the camo shorts. We talked about the camo drop. Yeah, but that was prior to the festive um, drop. I mean, the holiday drop. That was actually two weeks prior to that. No, I got to. Um, I I haven't even really seen the, this one. Kind of went under the radar. I got to look um, because the last thing I got were the camo shorts, and I got the Peloton ornament. I oh, did I, cus- you? I custed nice. up the. I custodied up the thirty dollars for the the ornament, which I did see with you at the showroom in New York City. Yeah, and it was yeah, actually really it's actually really nice. You know, it's got some mm-hmm. weight to it. It's the big it's the Peloton P in white and black. And um, yeah, I already hung that up. We we already have our tree up. Um, admittedly, oh, good. look at you. Prior to uh, Thanksgiving, that was Impressive. Jackson has done all the decorating for Christmas. Aww. The lights out front. Yeah, we get that shit up early. And um, I love that. That's awesome. You got to choose. You got to choose your battles, Amanda. Uh, I right, you know, and that's one. And you know what? That's a good one. That's a good go. one to um, to go with it. That's a good one to go with it because it's fun. It brings that fest. I said I love this time of year, so um, it just brings it all you know all to a head much a little bit more quicker, and you can enjoy it for longer. So why not? Yeah, but I got to check right. out. I got to check out the the most recent drop. So because um, I got a couple. Yeah, codes there was some left. cool. There were some cool things on there. There were definitely some cool things on there. Hmm. All right, John. Well, we'll go ahead and move straight into instructor in the news. And you are up first. Yes. So Ali Love was recently on the Today Show at the Today Show studio. And she was there. They had a few mats. Um, She was with uh, Dylan Dreyer, who's the the weather person there on the show, and two other hosts. I can't can't get their names, remember their names offhand. But she was showing them, walking them through um, fitness routines to get on the right track before the holidays. So she showed them a ground plie and expressed the importance of proper posture. I always think it's funny when um, the instructors go to do the in-person like fitness demo and the, the hosts of the show or like in their full formal attire, the, like in their full suit. <laughs> their so it's kind of just, it was, it was funny to see socks. them, you know, cause you just feel like, so they, I'm sure they feel so stiff and awkward and they don't want to start like sweating through, you know, their nice dress or their, their shirt and tie. Um, but it was like, it was like a four minute segment. So she got a, she got a good amount of face time on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. All right. And Anna Greenberg was featured on Deb Flaschenberg's podcast, Yoga, Birth, and Babies, um, chatting about her pregnancy, the birth, and um, and now getting back into yoga. 
So Anna went ahead and shared that right before she was to give birth to Noah, one of her very best friends had a stillborn baby and mm. how traumatic that was for her. She also chatted about the um, the struggles she had at the end of her pregnancy, um, the struggles she had during her own birth, uh, the delivery, and her postpartum. So it's a very moving, um, true to heart podcast. Um, I was really impressed with, um, with Anna being so vulnerable and sharing such, you know, intimate and personal details. But certainly for any women out there that are either pregnant and getting ready to deliver or are postpartum, um, it's, you know, it's wonderful to have the opportunity to get to know that you're not alone out there, that there are, you know, in fact, um, others that are dealing with the same, you know, the same thing. Things that you're dealing with. So I loved how just vulnerable and honest she was, um, you know, in that, in that podcast, definitely take a listen, even if you're, you know, even if you're not pregnant or having a baby, but for those that are definitely listen to it. Yeah. Well, uh, Jess King was interviewed also on the Today Show and she talked about how she encouraged her partner, Sophia, uh, to go to therapy. Um, she said, uh, Jess had said early on in her relation to, relationship to Sophia, who she also said um, that it's really her only successful relationship that she's had and actually the first time that she had been in a relationship with a woman. Um, but she had said she had picked up on little flag, little red flags early on in the relationship. She said that Sophia is a Scorpio and she would shut down a lot for a day or two after they had an argument. So there's you know, some communication problems that they were experiencing. And she said, you know, going to therapy and putting in, you know, she said she herself, Jess, had been going to therapy and putting in work and that um, Sophia also needed to as well so they could communicate in a more healthy way. Um, but th that's another thing that's not um, normalized as much, you know, going to therapy, speaking, yeah. you know, to a therapy. So I, th I thought that was really great to, to put that out there. Yep. Absolutely loved it. Um, all right, John. Well, I guess that wraps up um, that portion of the show. Um, and why don't we go straight into um, picks, picks of the week? Of the week. I will I go it. ahead. Um, I think um, Chris had gone ahead and put in put in um, them for us. So let's go with me. I will start um, first up. Um, Kira's koalas. I love how this group um, really. Um, are, are there for um, Kira Michelle. And um, they went ahead and recommended her 45-minute focus flow wheel pose. It dropped on the um, 9th of November at 4 p.m. Eastern. And they said, so good for opening the hip flexors and back body. Next up was Cody Rigsby's 30-minute LOL. And I guess there are a lot of people out there that enjoy it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and it was Shan Spins, um, D. Margie 29, Sunny Flower 1000, and Better Netta. They said, fun time, just need a little break from the usual sometimes, which is true. I like that. Um, his interactions with Kendall had me in tears. Dennis's 30-minute 80s yoga flow from the 11th. They received this one from Blanca 2016. They said, fabulous music in class. And then Jess Sims, 60-minute Saturday 60 full-body tread boot camp from the 12th. Beans and Rice submitted this one. They said, was a butt kicker, tough class. Awesome. And then E. Burton Bourne recommended Ben Aldous's 30-minute 80s ride from November the 13th. They said such a fun playlist. I mean, come on. It's Ben Aldous. Bangers it's and belters. It's 80s. Bangers. Right. Exactly. Um, next up was Ker um, Kirsten Ferguson's 45-minute walk plus run, also from the 13th. This was picked by A. Hagen 22, and they said her affirmation Affirmations are everything. All right. And Leanne Hainsby's. We received this one from our friend Daisy Mack. Uh, Leanne's 30 minute 90s rock ride from the 13th. Daisy said, great, uh, great celebration of her four years with Peloton. And then Kelso 760 gave us Callie's 30 minute bike boot camp core from the 13th. They said, great new killer core move in this one. 
All right. And this one had a lot said about it. So Susie Striders, they had recommended Susie Chan's 15-minute 90s run from the 14th. Um, They said, I took the run and the music was so on point. Really took me back to my teenage years. And it had that typical Susie Chan feel good factor to it. She is such a joy to run with. Lots of reminders on form and breath. Another great week from Susie. And the next one is mine. It's also nice to see a couple other members submitted this one as well. But Kristen McGee's 20-minute intermediate yoga flow from Monday the 14th. Um, I did this one. It's obviously unusual for me to do yoga. um, But I have been meaning to do... um, more stuff on the mat. And I love Kristen. And um, I gave her a heads up that I was going to do her live uh, yoga flow that morning. And she was all excited. And I said, Oh, you know, what's, uh, you know, anything good on the playlist? She's like, Oh, I got to check. I already submitted it. And I said, Oh, it'd be, it'd be fun if there was some John Mayer on it. And she actually went in and um, updated the playlist and added a John Mayer song for me. Um, which was really nice. But it was also a really good, it wasn't super hard. Um, It was just the perfect yoga class for me to take because I I didn't feel discouraged. Um, She was really good going through the movements and the instructions. So I highly recommend this one um, for anyone, especially a beginner or someone just starting out because this was my third yoga class in total on the platform. Oh my goodness. I I had done Kristen's. (laughs) A, a couple of years ago, I had done her Grateful Dead yoga class, and I think I did Dennis's yoga, f- Grateful Dead yoga flow. So that was it. Um, but it was a really good one for, you know, if you're a newbie or just starting out in yoga, because um, it, it wasn't too hard. And she makes it really, um, you know, through the transitions. I didn't I didn't feel like I, uh, I fell behind at all. So I'll, I'll definitely be doing more um, with Kristen. It was, it was a really good one. And it looks like you weren't alone, though, because Big Yellow Dog. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. big, big. Yeah, we also see this one from Big Yellow Dog and Jesse Bennett uh, and as Jessie well. Jesse is absolutely amazing. She's become a really good friend of mine. She is a ah. yoga teacher herself out in California and a very good friend of Kristen's. So oh, okay. um, I, yeah, yeah, they they met years and years and years ago. And um, uh, Jessie has shared her story with me, um, you know, on, on, on her history with Kristen. And it's so lovely to see. So their kids are similar ages. And I'm so glad that Jessie um, went ahead and gave this as a, as a pick. Um, All right. Well, the next one is one of mine. Um, And as well as S pound C01. So um, it was Jeffrey McEachin's 20 minute pop walk. And again, I can't say it enough, Peloton. If you're listening, please put in subtitles. This was such an amazing, amazing um, walk. Uh, Jeffrey's energy is off the charts. It was a pop walk. He was dancing. He was singing. I did message him afterwards and said, I'm definitely learning my German because I could (laughs) understand what he was telling us to do. But what a fun, fun um, playlist. He had Whitney. He had Justin Timberlake. He had Pink. Um, It was truly the most amazing, amazing pop you know, fun pop walk. And that was one that I actually said to you that I did. I did the 20 minutes with Jeffrey and then I added on a, a an extra 10 and I did a hike with Jocelyn, um, oh, which, was, which was awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yep, that was that one. All right, you Well, while next. we're on the, the German classes, uh, Carrie Carrie submitted Nico Serrani's 30-minute yoga flow in German from the 14th. They said, Nico's class structure and teaching style is incredible. She's engaging, takes time to explain everything, and proves yoga has, sorry, I got to scroll over, has no language barrier. Um, and they're, they're said they're a non-speaking German here. Plus, her smile alone is worth taking a class. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. And then my gorgeous Mariana Fernandez, um, midwife Lexi, and hey, it's Erica M. Both recommended Mariana's 20-minute focus flow for runners. So folks are doing those. That dropped on the 15th. Um, we spoke about it earlier in the show. They said, wonderful flow. I like that. <laughs> um, with the perfect irony of doing yoga for running to 500 miles. <laughs> 
Um, and then Trian um, recommended Bradley Rose's 20 minute pop ride, also from the 15th. They said motivational fun live class. And next up, Eric Yeager's 30 minute pop ride. I assume this is German, it doesn't specify, but it's from November 16th. Uh, we received this one from Rachel Galt. They said, she said, all boy band hits. And then Robin Arzon's 20 minute Broadway ride from the 16th as well. Uh, Odd Hendrikas and Mama Bear 109 gave us that one. They said, great playlist with Rent, Into the Heights, Hamilton, and Phantom. And someone actually messaged me last night and said, have you seen Robin's, have you taken Robin's 20-minute Broadway ride? It's got Phantom of the Opera, which you don't see a lot of Broadway series uh, classes. They never include Phantom of the Opera. I don't know if it's just, you know, the, the tempo, the pace of the song just doesn't fit with, with the playlist. But Robin, one of the last songs was from Phantom of the Opera. Um, so that right, was a nice awesome. surprise. That, that's definitely one I'd want to take. Um, yeah. For sure. Yeah. You want to take the last All right, two? So I get, yep, I'll go for that. So um, Olivia Amada's 60 minute Power Zone endurance ride. It dropped on um, the 16th at 7 a.m. It was recommended by Rachel Blaufeld and Lift Heavy Be Kind. Um, they said great playlist. And of course, last but certainly low, um, not least, with a huge number of members recommending this one, I will shout you all out. It is for Hannah Frankson's 20-minute premiere run from the 16th. And the recommendations came from Queen Cheese, Shelly Sanity, USC Tiffany, a Thomas 20, um, Tunda Holmes, Tony Sinkinson, Leah Seychelles, and Pedal Cranker. All recommended um, her premier run together with me and you, John. Um, John and <laughs> Justin were there, and Hannah's dad and studio staff. So sweet. And as I said to you in the show, the playlist was absolutely fantastic. So great, folks. That's a nice um, mix of um, picks of the week for folks yeah, who are and, looking for stuff to do. And Tony Sinkinson, I'll say, that guy is a madman on the tread. When uh, when we started ready? that when we started that premiere run, you know, he was way up on the leaderboard. So I, I clicked on him to see what speed he was at eight point five at the very beginning oh, of wow. the run. Um, so yeah. I mean, ha hats off to you. I I can't start off. I can't even go that fast for you know very long, but uh, he was Tony, already Tony at an eight, eight and a mind. half. Uh, Tony so that blows dude's, my mind. He's fast yeah. on the tread. I'll give him that. Yep. Yep. And I know he's watching John, so he's going to appreciate that shout out because um, Tony <laughs> is one of our faithful Sunday listeners. So I'm um, huge. Congrats to you, Tony. And um, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, folks. Well, we'll wrap it up. Um, hope as always, you got to enjoy what we had to share with you this week. Um, we always say this, we love to be able to give you the news um, and just in a fun and um, banter back and forth between John and I, because most of you have heard the news or seen the news that, uh, yeah. that Chris has posted in the week. But when, it is just when you let me get a, when you let you. me get a word in here and there. Oh come on! I give you that. <laughs> I give you that word. I give you that word. Just Jen. Just Jen Sherman doesn't my, like for you to. Um, I get my interfere. crowbar out and I get it in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I, like that. I like that. All right. Well, um, for those of you in the States that are celebrating Thanksgiving, we wish you a very happy Thanksgiving coming up. Um, we are going to be off, um, off the airways next week as we all celebrate with our families. Um, but we will definitely be back the week after. And um, we'll have tons of news, I'm sure, with so probably lots more that's going to drop. We never seem to, I mean, we every week we say, is it going to be a slow week? Is it going to be a slow week? And there's always tons of information. And, to, and, um, and Chris Lewis always fills up that spreadsheet for us. So it's crazy. always something it's to crazy. talk about. Well, know, hopefully so, in two um, weeks, um, yeah. in two weeks time, we'll, we'll get a pretty in-depth um, review of the row from you since you're getting your row uh tomorrow oh and i'm excited so to, um, i'm looking yeah, forward to get to, your thoughts I'll and to, see i'll have to message you and we'll have to maybe get on together and yeah and, yeah and coordinate a class a little competition there you and me and see and see how we row <laughs> see see how, see how your together. stroke see how your stroke is <laughs> my stroke is <laughs> get your stroke on <laughs> exactly i'm excited i am excited to try something new i've really really wanted it i'm very fortunate that i was able to get yeah, look I, I traded in that 
that that trad plus so that I could get this rose. So um, yeah. I, I I did do that. So I'm excited to be able to um, to get on there and see what it's all about. All right, folks. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Um, wishing you all again a happy Thanksgiving, and um, we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now, everybody. Yep, and from me here in Michigan, uh, happy Thanksgiving to our friends in the States and overseas. And as Cody would say, um, make sure you're not bringing that dry-ass mac and cheese to the Thanksgiving table if you're a a mac and cheese aficionado. Um, I know that's a big uh, side, and Cody's very passionate about having good mac and cheese. So keep that in mind um, when you're, when you're, if, if you're tasked with that side. And as always, we will see you on the leaderboard. Thank you for watching Pello Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton, by the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pello Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pello Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pello Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.